This is a demonstration of how the pivot shift test is affected by the aleotibial band. This is the aleotibial band here in this model. You can see it runs on the lateral aspect of the left knee to the Gurney's tubercle. If you look at the knee on from the lateral side, as the knee is an extension, you can see the aleotibial band is in front of the axis of rotation of the knee. As the knee bends, the aleotibial band in orange goes behind the axis of rotation and becomes a flexor of the knee. Now I will demonstrate how the pivot shift test works. The knee is held in extension and internally rotated to the lateral condyle of the tibia sublux anteriorly. As the knee is flexed, the aleotibial band passes behind the axis of the knee and pulls the knee back into flexion. And as you can see, it occurs quite suddenly with a very small movement. Suddenly it crosses the critical point and then it flicks down. And seen from above, there it is. And as we bend the knee, it corrects itself. Once again, the knee subluxes anteriorly, and as we bend, it flicks and corrects. Thank you.